I find it very powerful to feel gratitude towards the money. The money is there. The money is there. The money is here. I have it. It is showing up for me. It is available. Thank you, money, for being here, for supporting me. Welcome to Wealth Embodied. Together, along with some amazing guests, we'll explore and tap into our innate abundance and have meaningful conversations about developing our ability to embody the vibration of wealth while also uncovering new ways to think, feel, and cultivate our relationship with money so we can live our lives wealthy and aligned. Let's welcome our host, Alara Sage. Hello, hello, and welcome to Wealth Embodied, where we activate and inspire you in your wealth consciousness, in your creative genius, and in your visionary impact. I'm your host, Alara Sage. I help change makers and leaders to embody wealth consciousness. And exciting, this whole week, I'm going to be bringing in little snippets, bonus tracks for the upcoming Summit Wisdom of Wealth. So all of these bonus tracks are just going to be little moments, little shares, little snippets to get you excited, to get you ready for Wisdom of Wealth Summit, which is happening October 16th through the 18th. Be sure to sign up. It is a free three-day online event that is here to help you end 2024 with energetic and strategic modalities to take your wealth to the next level. It's going to be super powerful. We have 18 speakers plus myself all into uh, the topics of wealth. So today, your little snippet is about your breath. I'm a firm believer in the power of the breath and using the breath as a tool. One of my favorite ways to use breath as a tool with regards to wealth is to pause and breathe every time I go. This allows for intentional action. It allows me to ensure that I'm in the vibratory state that I desire to spend that money in, right? To take action in. Because remember, we always want to be aware of the vibratory state of being that we are taking action from because that action, that vibration is coming through. It's actualizing into physical reality. So what I like to do is I go to the grocery store. If I buy something online, when I'm going to actually pay, I just simply pause, take a nice deep breath all the way down into my pelvis. I just draw my awareness to whatever feels appropriate in the moment. I am in exhaustible wealth. I feel abundant and wealthy. Whatever kind of affirmation that feels like it's going to light me up and activate me in that moment. And then I from a place of gratitude, from a place of appreciation for the money, first and foremost, and two, for whatever I am paying for. It's kind of like a double gratitude there. I express that gratitude from my heart, not expressing verbally or vocally, just in my mind most of the time. But I find it very powerful to feel gratitude towards the money. The money is there. The money is there. The money is here. I have it. It is showing up for me. It is available. Thank you, money, for being here, for supporting me in this purchase towards whatever it is. And then that's when I express my gratitude, appreciation for that thing or whatever I'm paying. Also, if I see a transaction come through, because, you know, we have a lot of subscriptions, don't we? Nowadays, there are a lot of things that are automatic payments and these are okay. And they're very helpful in a lot of ways. But what I like to do is I like to have notifications on my phone when something is charged. That way, when that charge comes through in the phone, I can consciously, intentionally look at that, breathe into my body, activate myself and once again feel that gratitude appreciation towards it 
So this just brings in a layer of intentionality into spending money. Specifically with regards to, you know, the things that are automatic, the things that are subscription, and or just the things that we often pay for, like gas or groceries. Those are the ones that we often let slip through the track cracks, so to speak. We're not always aware of where we're coming from when we spend that money. And the more you do this, the more you can practice really being in the energy of gratitude as you are spending. And that is very powerful, both for literally creating your reality in the energy of gratitude and abundance, and also thus attracting that vibration. If you want to take it a bit deeper, you can also just simply, as you spend that money, also and just receive that same amount of money back in whatever that amount was. Like if you just spent $147, you just breathe into your body, activate your body, express the gratitude, appreciation. And after you're done with all of that, you take a nice deep breath and you draw in $147 to replenish the bank, so to speak. While this may sound very, you know, out of the box sometimes to work with energy this way. It is very, very powerful. And the more you practice it, the better you get at it. And also you begin to see how it works. Now, if you don't believe that this is going to work, it most likely won't. And therefore you want to address any subconscious belief structures in your mind that you know, whatever that subconscious belief is pointing to, it might be saying, you can't just receive money by breathing into your body. You have to work hard for that money. Or if you're on a fixed salary, like there's no, you know, you get what you get in your fixed salary and that's all you get. Whatever that belief is that is saying, eh, eh, that's not possible. That's not real, right? You want to address that belief structure because the truth is, that you're creating your reality through your belief structures and you have the power to reprogram your mind, which is very much like a computer. And what do you have to lose? You know, what do you have to lose by reprogramming it in more possibility, more potentiality? So regardless of what you think is real or not, by expanding your own mind and pushing past your own belief structures, opening up to potentialities, you will be amazed at what you can create. But always be aware, the subconscious mind is largely creating your reality. So it's not just about throwing intentions out there and then thinking, gee, that didn't work. See, this stuff doesn't work. Because if it's not working, that's actually because your subconscious mind is creating something else, period. That's it. It's the only reason that intentionality and the awareness of your vibratory state of being doesn't work to create your reality, okay? So consider those. Consider the opportunity, the invitation to explore what happens if I work to reprogram my mind. What happens? What do I create from a new belief structure? It's rather exciting. You know, even today, I was talking with a guest here on the podcast who was speaking about, you know, the Wright brothers and the fact that they had to try over a thousand times to fly. And at that era, in that time of humanity, flying was not possible. It was literally not possible. They didn't have anybody that had done it before. They didn't have anybody that said, yeah, try that. That sounds amazing. It's totally possible. No, they had a lot of people who said that's not possible. But because of their strong intention, their passion and their resilience to continue the work and believe that it was possible, it became possible and altered that belief structure in all of humanity from that point forward. It happens again and again when people break new records. There will be a certain point where a lot of times 
athletes will kind of plateau and nobody can kind of seem to get past that. And then the minute that somebody breaks that new record, all of a sudden it becomes available and multiple people will do it because all of a sudden it has been deemed possible. So are you going to be the person who creates new belief structures for humanity? Or are you going to be the person who stays in belief structures because, well, that's what everybody says is possible? I invite you to always explore the expanded opportunities of your mind and your power being a human. Thank you so much for being here today. So remember, each day this week, there's going to be this beautiful track, a bonus track that is really here for the Wisdom to Wealth Summit. Make sure you sign up. It's a free summit. Uh, why not? You're going to learn some things about wealth some, from some really powerful and beautiful speakers. I look forward to seeing you there. Until next time, I love you so much. Thank you for being a part of Wealth Embodied. As you experience each new day, we want you to feel that you are capable of tapping into your innate abundance and living your life wealthy and aligned. If you want to be invited to the next episode, just subscribe to our podcast. And if you need more information in the meantime, go to alarasage.com.